okay guys continuing right where we left off so now we're gonna color the terrain so first of all um i exposed some values so now i can change the terrain height and i could set the noise offset so the terrain height is what it is if we change that to let's say 10 and refresh terrain height changes and the offset was how smooth it was so let's reload that and reload that so the lower this is the less changes it has so let's also change this to be a bit bigger and reload all right so to start let's get rid of this material so let's create a new shader material and uh, we could set up the shader here terrain color create new so what we want to do is we're gonna use a gradient and we're gonna get both the uh the terrain height the min and max height so we need to create those variables so uniform uh simpler to the terrain color and we say we need a uniform float min height and that's some default for now uniform float float max height so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to set these up in the generator so we could call them so let's go over here let's minimize this let's set the two values here so var min height so zero var max height so one and in the update method right here you're gonna check if if the position y is less than min height and it's not equal now i had to put that there because for some reason this changes it to null sometimes so we need to set it to be equal to min height and then if y is greater than max height and y not equal null as well let's set max height to be y and now we could go down here we're gonna create a function to update the shader update shader and we could say var mat equals get active material and that's the one surface and we could say mat at set shader param and we could say min height set it equal to that min height and then we say mat and max height okay and then max height so now we could call that right here after we created the mesh and we pass it to the instance just call that there okay so now let's go back in the shader now we need to first let's get the height from the <clears throat> from the vertex first we need to create a variant a variant is a, a variable that can be passed through the vertex on the fragment shader uh vertex y pull that off when we go into the vertex shader vertex and we set vertex y oops vertex y equal to vertex that y let's close that out so we need to create an inverse lerp I went ahead and grabbed one from Google, the code, how to do it. So let's just copy that in and paste it there. So what that does is get the value, minus it from the minimum value, and divide that by B minus A. And then I clamp it to be turn between 0 0.01 and 1. So we need that for the fragment. So here we need to refer to the height so the varying value is say vertex y float position equal to inverse lerp just pass that min min height max height and pass in the height now remember what i said in the last tutorial this returns the value between zero and one and we have it clamped to return a little bit more than zero now we need a reference to that texture so this terrain that we created so let's throw one in real quick so here and we're using a gradient texture so we'll leave the default for now save and if we reload you'll notice these will change there you go 
So the min is now negative five and the max is 2.1, 2.0. Right here, the vectory dot color equals texture dot the color, or what do we call it, terrain, terrain color. And then we pass in a vector two with only the position and zero on the y because it's a gradient texture so we only want the x position and then we say rgb at the end and now we can set that color so albedo let me make sure i didn't make a mistake here up back to so albedo equals color and that should update there you go and we have that looking that way so now we can set the colors here click on this set this to be green and set this one to be okay and set this to move it up to get it more green back to white there you go so now i could end the video here or we could try a different shader that actually uses textures i already have two textures here so let's switch to that by first removing this shader let's save here we're going to create a brand new shader so clear new shader call this texture and texture shader so i'll click on that one so what we need here is gonna need the two shit we're gonna need the two textures let's create two sample 2ds we're gonna need a min and max so the min grass height and the max rock height we're gonna also need a vertex the varying and then we have a uv scale that we can change the size of the uvs so here float vert height equals vertex uh, y and then we get the grass and the rock get the texture grass then we use the uvs times uv scale so it can scale the texture up so it, they look smaller on the terrain and the tile too so that should be that's good let's copy here I'll call this vert height we should call this vert weight now what we need here is a final color so vec3 final color color and mix equals mix and we pass in the grass first i think yep grass first then the rock then we pass in the weight and close it out and we say albedo equals final color dot rgb there you go now all we have to do now is set these up so terrain grass include grass here there you go and then we say terrain rocks and we set those as load terrain rocks now we can refresh these values here so the min grass height should be up a bit these shouldn't overlap so let's make sure not doing that wrong oh we didn't set the actual vert void vertex We'll say vertex y equals vertex dot y and that should fix the problem there you go now we could play with these values could sharpen this up a bit there we go all right guys that's it for this tutorial so let me zoom up here so you guys can see that all right, so next tutorial, I'm gonna do infinite terrain generation. I'm gonna keep the same shader for that actually. All right, guys, we'll go on.